The month of May is observed as Blindness Awareness Month, where increased attention is focused on the successes, challenges and strides of the blind and visually impaired segment of the population. The theme for this year's Blindness Awareness Month is, I am more than what you see. For years, Braille has been the only form of direct access to the written word for persons living with blindness. The St. Lucia Blind Welfare Association, SLBWA, in its thrust for inclusion, resilience and increased opportunities for its members, organized a week-long ICT training program to build competencies while equipping its members with the added tools for employment and job creation. Anthony Avril is the executive director of the SLBWA. The computer technology has certainly is, is opening the world in many ways so that we, we can communicate with people who can't read Braille but that they can read regular print. So this is where the computer gives an advantage to us. The SLBWA advocates for the inclusion of everyone, regardless of their visual status, and thus has embraced the opportunity afforded through ICT to balance the playing field for its members. Of course, there is always a constraint of resources so that we can um, have the, the regular IT um, teachers um, because we have to provide the access not just to school children, but also to those who are interested in continuing education, interested in employment. And you know, these days, online employment has become um, one of the way, ways to go to many of our persons who, who would be, due to no, no fault of theirs, would be some uh, restricted and homebound. We want to expose many, many, many more and we also want to do it in the south of the island as well. Lance Prosper was the tutor for the ICT training session at the SLBWA. He is currently the IT teacher at the Dame Pullet Primary School. He said, though it was challenging to teach computer skills to low vision and blind persons, he was impressed with how quickly they picked up the tips and techniques he taught. And this program should show that this is something that should be implemented fully because those persons with disabilities are able to navigate the computer, you know, and this program, it really shows how, how much they should be introduced to ICT at an early level. The World Health Organization estimates that over 2.2 billion people globally are impacted by some form of visual impairment or blindness. This includes everyone who wears some form of corrective lenses. Lena Theophilus is a member of the SLBWA who participated in the computer training. She advocates for increased opportunities for blind and visually impaired persons. I don't think that persons with blind and visual impairment keep themselves back. I think that people don't give blind and visual impaired persons a chance to show what we can do or what we can learn. Because not because that we cannot do it the same way that visual persons can, that doesn't mean that we cannot learn to do it differently. So I don't think that we keep ourselves back. I think persons don't give people with blind or visual impairment a chance to learn something new. John Joseph expressed his appreciation for being included in the ICT training program and hopes for increased opportunities for persons like himself. I've used a typewriter in a secretarial school I was attending to, but to literally use a computer is my first time. It's my first time and that program, honestly, from my heart, I love it. The ICT training was organized for both basic and advanced participants. The executive director of the SLBWA encourages persons to share their time and skills to make a positive impact on the lives of persons living with blindness and visual impairment. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting.